In the quest for the HBCU National Championship, in the words of my late brother Stuart Scott, fam, you must be butter, because they're on a roll. Hello, everyone. I'm Keith Miles, along with Albert Chester, the only HBCU quarterback to win the 1AA National Championship and the Black College National Championship. And Albert, Howard University comes to FAMU today with two games remaining on the regular season a week after Coach Ron Prince was released. Yeah, when you look at Howard, when the season started, they had the top quarterback in the MEAC and a new coach in Ron Prince. Today, fast forward to today, we got a new season for Howard. We expect a good ball game from them today. Well, it's senior day here in Bragg Memorial Stadium, and the Rattlers have 14 seniors who will play their last football game in this stadium, led by quarterback Ryan Stanley. No question, he's the leader of this ball club. Record-shattering quarterback, done a great job. He's quarterback some teams that weren't so successful. But this year, he's done exactly what Coach Willie Simmons wants him to do. He's led this ball club, making good decisions, and we hope that's going to continue today. One year ago, it was the same Howard University Bison team that started the Rattlers' three-game skid at the end of the regular season. Coach Willie Simmons says the Rattlers are going to fight to finish, and they, that one start, that starts today. And don't think the Rattlers didn't forget about that. I expect Howard to bring the A game and give the Rattlers a test today. Part of that A game is wide receiver Kyle Anthony, the Howard University all-time leading receiver, and he'll be up at halftime to talk more about his outstanding career in the blue and white. It's FAMU and Howard on the MEAC Digital Network and on ESPN. You said strike with us. won the toss will defer howard university will receive the opening kickoff and albert we've got a great one here in tallahassee the last home game of the season for florida a and it's senior day and uh, the rattlers control their own destiny now in terms of the last two ball games headed toward what they hope will be the HBCU National Championship. Keith, I don't, I don't expect the Rattlers to let down. I think they're going to be right where they need to be mentally, physically, and emotionally, and I expect them to play top-notch football. Howard has gone through a whole lot this season, and I'm, I'm glad to see them here ready to show up and show out. All right, it's Bam, you, and Howard on the MEAC Digital Network and ESPN3 and the Rattler Sports Network. Happy to have you with us. It's Keith Miles along with Albert Chester. And we've got a great one going on in Tallahassee this afternoon, a chilly afternoon in Tallahassee, Albert. And uh, the fans are decked out today in their jackets and hats. And a few of them have some gloves on. <laughs> well, I tell you, like we said earlier, we ordered up some sun, but uh, that order was not filled. But we have a great day for football, excellent football weather. A little chilly for the fans in the stands, but I think it's going to be a good one. Well, Yahia Ali, one of those graduating seniors or playing his final game in uh, the Orange and Green in Brack Stadium today, will tee it up and kick it off for Florida A&M University. The Howard Bison decked out today in their road whites with white helmets, white jerseys, blue numbers, and white pants. And the Rattlers, of course, in those orange helmets, green jerseys, and orange pants. Here we go. The Bison. Jordan. Always hit and dropped by DJ Phillips and uh, the Bison. There's a penalty marker on the very first play of the game as uh, DJ Phillips comes down and makes a really nice hit on the opening kickoff. Jordan to return, personal foul, return team. Number 28, the illegal blind side block at the distance to the goal, first down. And so, to make matters worse, they get a personal foul on the opening kickoff. Jordan Alley was the return man. He will be the wide receiver to the near boundary with a slot on that side. At quarterback, starting for the Bison of Howard, will be Ramar Williams, and we'll tell you more about him as we go. Here we go. The Bison on first down. They give it to Dedrick Parsons, their outstanding running back, 5'8", 195, the redshirt sophomore out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Dedrick is uh, one of their star players. He can, he can tote the appeal, man, at 5'8", 195. He can carry. He, he needs to be tackled. He, he can run hard. The Rattlers made a good, did a good job of stopping him for only a short game. All right, Ramar Williams at the control. Second down, about seven yards to go for Howard. 
Ball is resting at their own 13-yard line. Bison this time load the I formation. Two tight ends send a receiver in motion. Ramar Williams, that quarterback, this time gives again to Parson. But this time the Rattlers are all over that play. Terry Jefferson leading the attack at the point of attack for FAMU. Straight handoff, uh, look like a run pass option type run, uh, but a straight handoff and uh, for no gain. Jacques Penet also on the stop for the Rattlers. Third down now and eight yards to go, a loss of one on that play. A possession play now for Howard University. Lamar Williams from the gun. Parsons in the backfield. Spread formation receivers to either side. And Williams flushed out of the pocket, pulls it down. Rattlers have a spot. He breaks that tackle. He's going to pick up the first down. Fumbles the ball out of bounds, but the Bison will retain possession, and it looks like they'll move the chains on a run by the quarterback, Ramar Williams. Ramar did a, a great ball job ball of it, the eluding the rush. At the 19 yard line, fourth down. Yeah, Ramar Williams, six foot. No, he didn't get the first down. So he's going to bring up fourth down. He fumbled the ball out of bounds uh, before the stick. Before he went across yeah. the yeah, and the so they did not pick up the first down. Ramar, six foot one eighty, a red shirt sophomore out of Bowie, Maryland. So yeah. on the punt for the Bison is Damian Gillespie, 5'11", 185 senior out of Singapore, and the Rattlers drop a Zende Ray. Oh, this is a short kick, and it's going to take a Howard roll, but it only rolls to the forty-seven yard line of Howard. So. All of a sudden, all right out the shoot, Albert, the Bison are going to give the Rattlers a short field. Well, the Rattlers uh, have been very successful with a short field all season, and let's see how they respond to this opportunity. Now, Howard, the uh, punter and special team folks didn't make the trip, we were told, so that's a backup punter who's actually punting for them today. Yeah. Rattlers will start first and 10 at the Howard 46-yard line. 12.47 to play in the first quarter. There's no score. This is FAMU's first possession of the afternoon. The Rattlers are moving left to right. They send a Zende Ray in motion. Ryan Stanley in his final game in Bragg Memorial Stadium on first down connects with a Zende Ray at the 40-yard line of Howard. And that's going to be a six-yard pickup and make it second down and four yards to go for FAMU. It's a little quick out to Zende Ray on man coverage. A great pass, good catch. All right, Rattlers. Now, this time going to send twin receivers near, about, near side. That's going to be... Marcus Williams and Azende Ray working the slot. The X-Man, Xavier Smith, is wide to the far side. And this time they give it to Bishop Bonnet. And Bishop Bonnet fights his way for a first down at about the 33-yard line of Howard. And that'll move the chains for a Rattler first down. Rattler set to go. Tempo, they give it to Bishop Bonnet again. And Bishop this time going to be taken down at about the 30-yard line, so a gain of three, make it second down and seven yards to go for FAMU at the Bison 30-yard line. 11.57 to play now. No score in Tallahassee. This, again, is the Rattlers' first possession of the afternoon. Rattlers with that up-tempo offense and trying to take advantage of some opportunities early and want to strike quick. And because of the illegal substitution by Howard and the quick up-tempo of the Rattler offense, the Bison going to be penalized five yards and make it make it first down now and five yards to go. Once again, that tempo will catch you off guard if you're not ready. First down and five for Ryan Stanley. Stanley's going to pass. Sets up, fires downfield. Had Marcus Williams open, but the pass is incomplete. Make it second down and five yards to go. For FAMU. It looked like a little mix up on that, uh, that route, that pass there. Uh, a little curl route and uh, Ryan threw the ball behind him a little bit, but uh, good coverage by, by Howard. Ball's resting at the Bison 28 yard line at 11.42 to go, first quarter. And the Rattlers 
just outside the red zone. Ryan Stanley this time going to set up the screen pass to Bishop Bonnet, and Bonnet actually ran it to his own man and goes down after a, maybe a one-yard gain to make it third down now for FAMU. How a defender made a, a great play in terms of trying to stop, and stopping that play because had he not, Bishop may have still been running for the Rattlers. Terrell Reed was the guy that uh, Bishop ran into his own offensive tackle. Make it third down now and about five yards to go for FAMU from the Howard 28-yard line. Ryan Stanley, boy, the Bison jump offside, but they get back. Stanley triplets to the near boundary this time for Ryan Stanley. And Bishop Monnet in the backfield. Stanley sets up, fires across the middle. That pass is deflected. That's good defense. That's great defense. Uh, great knockdown by the, the Bison cornerback. Trying to hit uh, Mark, Marcus Williams on a crossing route there. Great defensive play. Going to bring up fourth down for FAMU. And Yahia Ali will check on to attempt what will be a 46-yard field goal. Chris Fadul will hold. Ali has hit from, I think, his longest of the year, 52 yards. This one's 46 from the left hash mark. Placement kick is on the way. And it's good. And so with 10.45 to play in the first quarter, the Rattlers draw first blood. It's 3-0 here in Tallahassee. Fam U leading the Howard University Bison. And we'll be back after this timeout on the MEAC Digital Network and ESPN3. Three nothing, the Rattlers leading the Howard University Bison after the 46 yard Yahia Ali field goal. And the Rattlers kicking it off high end over end kick. And Jordan Alley makes the fair catch. And the ball will be spotted. I'm waiting on them to spot the football at the 25 yard line. And the Howard Bison will begin their second possession of the afternoon from there. Ramar Williams at the controls at quarterback. Diedrich Parsons is a good one. 5'8, 195, the red shirt sophomore out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is the back and Parsons gets the call boy he's hit and now going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage but let's give some credit to that initial Rattler who popped through and held them up Isaiah Land ends up making the stop but that's really good defense by Florida AM. and yeah the, the Rattlers got a whole lot of penetration at the point of attack and, uh, and swarming from that point yeah, loss of seven yards on the play makes it second down and 17 for Howard University. Jordan Alley is wide to the near side, isolated. Twins to the far boundary. They give it to Parsons again, and Parsons comes blasting through. He gets those seven yards back, make that eight, and they'll make it third down and nine yards to go for Howard. Now, after a fine run by Dietrich Parsons. Yeah, Dietrich and uh Bishop Barnett kind of mirror each other in statue and size and uh, that hard running. Great effort on this part. Yeah, he actually picked up 10 yards, just third down and eight mm -hmm. to go for Howard. FAMU leading 3 nothing with 9.35 to play here in the first quarter in Tallahassee. Williams wants to pass, sets up, delivers across the middle to Jordan Alley and Alley's going to pick up the first down and move the chains out to about the 46 yard line maybe or right at the 40 yard line I'm sorry and that'll be a first and 10 though for the Howard Bison. Ramar Williams stood in that pocket man and waited to the last minute to make that that toss and completion that ended up in the, a first down for the for the Bisons. Yep the red shirt sophomore Ramar Williams a good one. Yeah he's, out of Bowie Maryland. He's getting it done. And here we go. Howard this time, a tight alignment, I formation. This is run all the way, and they give it to Diedrich Parsons, and 
Again, Parsons fights his way. Actually, it's just Josiah Crute, the ball carrier. And uh, Crute's going to pick up three, maybe four yards on the play, make it second down and six. So that's a gain of four. That Howard O-line is pushing some holes there, man. They're pushing some people around up front. It all starts up front, Keith, that offense and defensive line. That's where it's happening. I don't care who you got running the football, but that's where it all starts, right there. All right, here we go. Third down and six, second down and six to go, that is, for the Howard Bison. I formation once again, isolated receiver to the far side. Two tight ends for Raymar Williams. And this one is run two. They give it to Krupp once again, and Krupp fights his way across the 45 down to about the 47 yard line it's going to bring up third down and about four yards to go for howard university third and four for the bison they trails three nothing here in brank stadium 745 to play in the first quarter third down and four jordan alley wide to the far boundary with the Slot receiver over there, isolated receiver near side for Ramar Williams. And Williams pulls it down. And, boy, he stumbles. He's got, not going to pick up the first down. Goes down at about the 49-yard line. It will bring up fourth down at about one yard to go for Howard University. Actually, going to make it. Actually, boy, I got a pretty bad spot that time. It's going to bring up. Fourth down and about three to go. Look, I thought he got closer to I did the too. 49, yeah. but it's going to be a punting situation for Howard. And as Albert said, Damian Gillespie forced into punting duty. Uh, he is the backup punter. But this time he gets a low line driving kick, and Azende Ray is going to pick it up. And Azende fights his way across the 25, out to about the 28-yard line where the Rattlers will begin their second possession of the afternoon from there. There's timeout in Tallahassee. It's 3 nothing, and you're watching FAMU and Howard on the MEAC Digital Network and ESPN3. We'll be back after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. First and 10 for Florida AM. Ball is resting at the FAMU 28 yard line as the Rattlers begin their second possession of the afternoon, leading Howard University 3 0 in Tallahassee. And Albert the Sun's trying to make its way. My order's just coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Stanley playing his final home game in Bragg Memorial Stadium. Hands off to the true freshman, Terrell Jennings. And Jennings fights his way across the 30-yard line, near the 35-yard line, down at about the 34. And that's going to be a gain of five, second down and five to go for the Rattlers of Florida A&M. This time, Jennings sets in the backfield. Stanley with a spread formation, twin receivers to either side. Rattlers moving left to right, and this time they fake the jet sweep and give it to Terrell Jennings once again. And Jennings, Jennings the ball carrier. stopped for a short gain. That's good defense over there by Howard University. I, I must concur, Keith. I tell you what, Howard, uh, they, they're bending, but they're not breaking. I tell you what, they're doing a good job on the run defense. James Newell, defense alignment 6'1", 270. He's a redshirt sophomore out of Akron, Ohio. Third down. And four to go for FAMU after a one-yard gain from Terrell Jennings. Stanley, this time twin receivers near side, and they throw the slant to Marcus Williams. And Marcus is going to pick up the first down at the 41-yard line of FAMU. But that's enough to move the chains. A little nice pitch and catch there with a nice slant, slant route. Marcus is probably one of the fastest guys on the field, so you don't want to let him get away. So the cornerback actually did a good job of putting them down right after the catch. 5-13 to play in the first quarter. 3-0, FAMU leading. 
And the Rattlers this time send triplets to the far boundary. Terrell Jennings in the backfield. Kamari Young, the tight end, is lined up to the right side of the formation. That's the strong side. And Ryan Stanley sets up, wants to pass, throws downfield for Marcus Williams. And the speedster, Marcus, outran everybody trying to cover him, but the pass was just slightly overthrown. Yeah, I think if uh, Ryan had hit, he ran a nice seam route post, and he put a little top on that pass, we might have a touchdown for the Rattlers. Second down and 10. Marcus Williams came clear. Just a little too much on that pass from Ryan Stanley. Rattlers go twins to the far boundary this time and isolate Xavier Smith near side. And this time they give it to Terrell Jennings, and Jennings fights his way for 10 yards, maybe 11. That'll be enough to move the chains and another Rattler first down. Oh, Terrell Jennings, 5'11", 225, true freshman out of Jacksonville Mandarin High School. All right, here we go, first down for FAMU at the Bison 46-yard line now. And Stanley gives it again to Terrell Jennings. This time a short game. Jennings the ball carrier. It's going to pick up two, maybe three. We'll, we'll call it three. Second down and seven yards to go for FAMU from the Howard 43. Ryan Stanley rolls left, fires his pass out. Intended for George Webb, but it falls incomplete. He's trying to hit Webb on, a, on an out route, a sprint out to the left uh, for Ryan Stanley and on an out route that uh, ended up throwing that ball out of bounds a little bit. Up-tempo offense ongoing right now for the Rattlers. Makes it third down and seven to go for the Rattlers. And uh, Terrell Jennings came out of his stance in that. Ball start, offense, number 79, number 23. The movement on the offensive line. Third down. Had a couple of Rattlers yeah. come out of their stance that time. That's and one of the things about that up-tempo up -temp, up offense. you got to be careful with that. Uh, want everybody to still remain in sync. Third down and 12 now for FAMU. Ball back at the Howard 48-yard line. Ryan Stanley with a spread formation. Twin receivers to either side. Terrell Jennings in the backfield for Stanley. Stanley sets up, fires across the middle, and that pass overthrown, intended for Xavier Smith. And uh, Howard had a good deep coverage back there, but the pass was just overthrown. Xavier yeah. came clear. Yeah, he did. He ran a, a seam route, ran a post, and uh, ball sailed on Ryan a little bit, got away from him. But Howard in good coverage and forcing the Rattlers to punt. Chris Fadul. The fourth leading punter in the nation, according to the FCS, is on the punt for FAMU. Diedrich Parsons is deep to receive for Howard University. And Fadul puts a foot in this one, sails into the end zone, and the Bison will bring it out first and 10 uh, after the touchback. Three minutes and 47 seconds remaining in the first quarter of play. And our score from Tallahassee, FAMU 3. Howard Nothing, you're watching the MEAC Digital Network on ESPN3. And we'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. Howard University all set to start from their own 20-yard line. Three minutes and 47 seconds remaining in the first quarter of play. Florida A&M 3, Howard Nothing. Ramar Williams gives to Diedrich Parsons and Parsons finds some running room there and fights his way to the 25-yard line. That's a gain of five on first down. Make it second down and five to go for Howard. Got some MIAC uh, scores that we've been watching all day. The Bethune Cookman North Carolina NT is finally a final. NT wins 47 to 17. Virginia Lynchburg lost to Morgan State 59-26. Hats off to T. Wheatley up there at uh, yeah, yeah. Ty, Ty getting it done. We'll come back with more scores after the play. All right, Ramar Williams sent to go with an eye formation. Sends a receiver in motion. This is a tight alignment running play all the way, but a play action. And, and the quarterback, Williams, wants to fire this pass down. He's got his man. That's a great-looking design play. It looked like run all the way, but he completes the pass out here. 
to number 87 for Howard University. Terry. Big, uh, Michael Cornwell. Yeah, Cornwell. Six, red shirt senior. O.A. Mills, Maryland. And then moves the chains. Gives Howard a first down at their own 45-yard line. Ramar Williams this time bunches three to the boundary. Gives to Parsons. Looked like they were trying to set up a screen pass out there, but they handed it off to the outstanding running back, Diedrich Parsons. And Parsons going to pick up two. Make it second down and eight yards to go for Howard. Keith, I'm really impressed with uh, Raymar Williams. I mean, a six-foot 180 redshirt sophomore. He's shifty. He's uh, making good decisions with that football, and he's standing in the, in the pocket waiting to the last minute to throw that football, making some plays for the Howard Bisons. Howard set to go, second down and eight. And a slot receiver came out of his stance that time. And that'll back Howard up. Second down. That was their top dog, Kyle Anthony, the big-time receiver, yeah. their all-time leading receiver. Speaking of Kyle Anthony, he'll be coming up at halftime uh, to talk about his career at Howard, the all-time leading receiver, as Albert said, at Howard University. Makes it second down now and about 13 to go, and they give it to Parsons, and Parsons, boy, is met at the point of attack. Boy, that's great defense over there by number 41, for the Rattlers, Doyle Grimes. Yeah, they, like they had a little conference meeting back there on that tackle. More scores, Norfolk State, Delaware State, late in the third quarter. Norfolk State is up 23-17. South Carolina State's up 17-0 over North, North Carolina Central, and that's late in the third quarter as well. Alabama State lost to FSU. That's Florida State University, 49-12. University of Florida won over Mizzou, 22-6. More scores after the play. Third down and 15 yards to go now for Howard. Ramar Williams sets up. Got the blitz coming. Terry Jefferson can't get him. He fires downfield, and that pass is underthrown, intended for Kyle Anthony. But Cortez Reed was defending for the Rattlers. It's going to bring up fourth down and 15 for Howard and send Damian Gillespie on to punt for the Bison. Well, Raymar tried to scramble to his left. He did scramble to his left, broke a tackle, and tried to throw a deep out. I think if he had tucked that ball, he'd still be running. Yeah. Azende Ray is deep to receive for the Rattlers. Damian Gillespie punts. Boy, wow, nearly blocked. Azende catches this one's on the fly and takes off. Azende, it's a great return. He's going to step out of bounds at the 48-yard line of Howard University, and the Rattlers will begin first and 10 from there. Uh, left, left punt return, left, left side punt return. He ran out of real estate, but a great return. In Ryan Stanley, that Rattler offense, that high rev Rattler offense, yet to get untracked here as we're nearing the end of the first quarter play, 40 seconds remaining. But the Rattlers holding a 3 0 lead. Yeah, one of the things Coach said he wanted to do was try to get off to a quick start. And uh, so far, shooting blanks. All right, here we go. Rattlers hand it off. To is that Bishop? No, it's the it's uh, Devon Kendrick, Bo Kendrick, the ball carrier, and Kendrick going to pick up three yards. But he was wrestled to the turf. That was a bear hug, a statement tackle. Third down and seven to go. A sec check that second down and seven for Fam. Ryan Stanley throws the slant. But it falls incomplete. Stanley's a little high on his passes today. I mean, yeah. he, had, he had the slant, uh, which is usually an easy pass to throw. Yeah. Uh, and, but good coverage. Andrew uh, Davis, the intended receiver. Now, Andrew's wearing number one, and so is Terry Jefferson. Yeah. But Andrew wears number one on offense. offense. Terry's on defense. Yeah. Makes it third down and seven to go 
for FAMU. Third down and seven. Isolated receiver near boundary. Twins to the far side for Ryan Stanley. And Andrew Davis goes in motion. Stanley sets up, going to throw the home run ball downfield for Marcus, and it's picked off. That's good defense by Howard. That's an outstanding play by Howard University's Rodney Denard. Rodney, I tell you what, he played center field. Ryan didn't look him off, and he actually underthrew that pass. Uh, he's 6'1", 180 out of Braddock, Pennsylvania. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter of play here in Tallahassee on Senior Day. FAMU leading Howard University by the score of three to nothing. And it's timeout. We'll be back after these words on the MEAC Digital Network, ESPN3. Bragg Memorial Stadium. The Rattlers up 3-0 at the end of the first quarter after an interception of Ryan Stanley pass. Howard has the ball on the 10-yard line coming out. Looks like a handoff to Derek Parsons, Diedrich Parsons. Pick up of about three or four yards. One of the things we're impressed with is uh, Raymar Williams has been a field general so far, he's leading this offense. Haven't been able to put any points on the board, but they've threatened several times. Makes it second down and about six yards to go for Howard. Bison with twins to the far boundary this time. They give it to Jos Josiah Crute. Marquis Bell hit on his apple. And it's uh, Marquise ring your bell on the stop for the Rattlers. Not much room to run there for Josiah. Third down and about six yards to go now for Howard University from their own 15-yard line. Thirteen forty-five to play in the first half. The Rattlers leading three nothing here in Tallahassee. And Ramar Williams wants to pass, sets up, throws the out out here, and got his man. I tell you what, that was that was a jam up job by uh, Ramar. He actually looked off and came back to that out route and hit him in stride and. He's able to turn that thing up and get a first down. Yeah, Malik Hyatt, 6'2", 230, a junior out of Gastonia, North Carolina. And uh, it's going to bring up first down to 10 for Howard. Ball resting at their own 29-yard line. Timeout, Howard. The first charge timeout, 30-second timeout. It's a 30-second timeout called by the Bison. Got a couple of couple more scores here. Uh, the Southern Jackson State game is at half. Jackson State's up 24-17. Alabama A&M and Alcorn is 21-14 at the half. That's another game we we're watching. Well, Albert, speaking of Ryan Stanley, he has completed his rewrite of the all of the FAMU passing records. His career yardage total now is second in MEAC history to Howard's Ted White who passed for over 9,200 yards during his career. So Ryan Stanley now is writing his name in the record books in the conference. He's making his mark, no doubt. All right, here we go. Howard with the first down and 10 from their own 29-yard line. Ramar Williams gives... Well, that's good Rattler defense there on the stop is Troy Hilton. Ball carrier was Josiah Crute, but Roy Hilton was all over that play from his corner position. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, you know, you, you got to credit the, uh, the Howard offensive line now, not on, on that particular play, but on several plays, they've gotten great movement on the D-line of Florida and then pick up good yardage. Tough running backs to pull down. Makes it second down and 10 for Howard. Now 12-22 to play, 3-0 FAMU leading 
And Ramar Williams looking to pass once again. Sets up. And, boy, hit and take. That's a sack. And on the stop for the Rattlers. Elijah. The man Elijah in the middle. Richardson. The man in the middle. Yeah. Tell you what, playing, uh, his, playing his last game in Bragg yeah. Stadium. Yeah, these seniors want to make a statement. And I tell you what, Elijah made a good tackle because Ramar was about to break loose. He's a shifty little guy back at quarterback. Uh, kind of reminds me of the guy that's not playing for them right now and Caleb New. Yeah. Third down now for the Bison. And about 16 yards to go with 11.33 to play in the first half. Williams pass tossed out there. And Cortez Reed all over that play. Rattles, great read on that play. That was a little quick hitch out. You see, Remar tried to throw that ball out, and the cornerback is right there to make a play. Not only Reed, but also Elijah Richardson. Yeah. As uh, Coach Willie Simmons said earlier today on Rattler Primetime, say Elijah Richardson's grown man. He got a wife and a kid. That's right. He goes home <laughs> like we do. <laughs> All right, here we go. A Zende Ray feels this at the 41-45 midfield. 45, and a Zende going to be taken out of bounds at about the 42, three-yard line of Howard University and sets the Rattlers up in excellent field position. 3-0 our score with 11-17 to play in the first half, and we'll be back after these words along the MEAC Digital Network on ESPN3. Howard on defense now, and Bishop Bonnet goes in motion for FAMU, sets in the backfield with Ryan Stanley. And Stanley's pass is caught out here by Marcus Williams for a short gain. Stanley's pass complete to number 80, Marcus Williams. Maybe a one-yard gain on that play. I think it was supposed to be a quick out. That snap was a little high, and Ryan was able to get the ball out of his hand and, uh, for a one-yard gain. Second down and nine for Florida A&M. Balls resting at the Howard University 42-yard line. Marcus Williams isolated near side. Twin receivers to the far side. George Webb is one of them. Xavier Smith working the slot over there. And Ryan gives to Bishop Bonnet, and here goes the Bishop. And the Bishop takes it all the way down to the 26-yard line. And that's a first down and 10 by Bishop Bonnet. Yeah, the Bishop is uh, 157, 165. He's a redshirt junior out of Reigns High School. He can scoop when he gets it. He's been a dangerous load here the last two years for the Rattlers. All right, first down and 10 for the Rattlers. Ball's resting at the Howard 26-yard line just outside the red zone. And Ryan Stanley this time sends George Webb in motion. Play action and runs the reverse to Marcus Williams inside the 2015. Marcus down inside the 10, all the way down to the seven yard line. And that's the Rattler first down. They'll move the chains. Well executed play, nice reverse. And Marcus, the, the speedster and senior, turns it up for a big game. Yeah, Marcus Williams also playing his last home game in Brank Stadium. And that's a big play for Florida AM. Rattlers knocking on the door now inside the red zone, and they give it to Bishop Bonnet. And the Bishop takes it down inside the five to about the four-yard line. Bishop Bonnet looking 100% after that early season knee injury. You know, you run hard during the first six, seven weeks, and uh, that bye week came just in time for the Rattlers. All right, this time, Ryan Stanley, there's penalty markers on the play. Illegal substitution, defense, 12 players under formation. Once again, that FAMU tempo is uh, catching Howard. Second illegal substitution of the afternoon. Yeah. Second and goal to goal for FAMU. Ryan Stanley checks out. Rattlers may run a little wildcat here. 
Zende Ray checking in. Let's see. Coach Willie Simmons may be digging into his bag of tricks here. It's a Zende Ray at quarterback. High snap and a Zende. He's going to keep the Zende Ray spinning and turning. Touchdown, FAMU. Well, that's why Azende was in there to do just what he did. He read the, the, the defensive line, turned north and south, and uh, scored a touchdown for the Rebels. Azende Ray goes in from three yards out. The Rattlers score. Zende hit that lane going 100 miles an hour north and south. As you can see, high snap again. He turned right up, found pay dirt. Yeah, when Ryan Stanley checked out and Zende came in, we knew it was going to be a little wildcat yeah. there. Injured Howard player on the field and the Howard training staff attending to him. Snap still a little high, though. Yeah. And Azende can throw the football, too. Yeah. Now, we've seen yeah. him throw the football on many occasions. Yeah. But you look at this drive, you got a mixture of runs, reverses, and then more runs. They're trying to get a number on that injured bison. 27. Aaron Walker up and walking off under his own power. And that's a good sign for Howard. Yahia Ali and uh, the field goal unit check on to attempt the point after. 8.31 to play in the first half. The Rattlers of FAMU trying to make it a 10-0 game here in Bragg Stadium. Chris Fadul will hold. There's a snap placement. Kick is on the way. And it's good. So Azende Ray goes in from three yards out. And Yahia Ali adds the extra point. And our score in Tallahassee, Florida AM 10 and Howard University nothing. We'll be back. After this timeout, the NEAC Digital Network, ESPN3, and on the Rantler Sports Network, after these words from our local... What would you like the power to do? Zende Ray goes in from three yards out. Yahia Ali adds the extra point, and it's 10-0 in Tallahassee as Florida a and leads the Bison of Howard University. Ali's end over end kick. Fielded at the six yard line after a fair catch is called for by Jordan Alley. And the Bison will begin first and 10 from there. That little extracurricular activity on that kickoff. Hey Keith, I'd like to take a moment to uh, send out uh, our deepest sympathy and condolence to uh, the family of Claude the Count Johnson. Claude played linebacker from 72 to 75. My freshman year, he was um, a powerhouse linebacker with Frankie Poole. Mm. And Claude uh, passed away this week, and uh, his funeral service was today. And uh, we wanted to give him a shout out and let the family know that uh, we're thinking about it. Frankie Poole was a great linebacker. Frankie in the count. Yes, sir. Here we go. First down and. 10 for Howard. Ramar Williams pass is picked off by Marquise. Ring your bell. Yeah, Marquise made a great play on that ball. It was a, a, a post corner, a corner route, and Marquise uh, was right there to intercept that ball. It looked like the, the up uh, cornerback was going to get that thing first. Here we go. Right over his head, Marquise came, came in. Normally, he's uh, he's an assassin out there. He's knocking someone out, but that's a great play by Marquise. Bad yep. throw in the freshman's part. Yeah, Rattlers had good coverage because Eric Smith was there too, but right. Marquise just jumped right in front of it and picked it off. Right. 
and maybe I think his fourth or fifth pick this, this season. season. Right. He's he's just a sophomore, man. Yeah. He, he's a pro. He, this kid here is going to be something special. All right, here we go. Rattlers with a first down and 10 at the Howard 33. Ryan Stanley wants to pass, throws downfield. That pass is caught by Marcus Williams. And he is bumped out of bounds at the 18-yard line, and that is a first down for FAMU inside the red zone. Marcus came from way on the other side, the deep crossing route. Rattlers only sent two receivers out that, that on that pass pattern. Stanley with uh, Terrell Jennings in the backfield. Now, the X-Man is wide to the near side, and they're going to throw it to the X-Man. He's got it. Touchdown, FAMU. Yeah, I tell you what, that's a great route. That was a, that was a hell of a route. Hell of a route. <laughs> and then a great pass by Ryan. The corner played him inside. He took the inside away from him on that slant, that little quick post, and just turned it up. He's, he's a tough man to bring down. Smith, the X-Man, on an 18-yard touchdown pass, and Yahia Ali on to attempt the point after. Chris Fadul will hold. Here's the snap placement. Kick is airborne, and good. And so, after the 18-yard pass from Ryan Stanley to Xavier, the X-Man Smith, the Rattler lead is now 17 to nothing over Howard and it's time out in Tallahassee we'll be back after these words on the MEAC Digital Network ESPN3 and on the Rattler what you like the power to do Florida A&M with a 17 to nothing lead over Howard University after Ryan Stanley completes an 18 yard touchdown pass to Xavier, the X-Man Smith, and Yahia Ali's end-over-end kick is fielded by Jordan Alley. He steps out of bounds at about the 16-yard line, and that's where the Howard Bison will begin first and 10 from there. And Albert, I was just about to say this. X-Man had been a little quiet here in this ball game, and just when you think he's not, up, not present, he shows up. He shows up and shows out. I tell you what, on the heels of Marquise Bell's interception, we got a great pass from uh, Ryan Stanley to the X-Man for six. Yeah. And speaking of youngsters, the X-Man just a sophomore. All right, here we go. Ramar Williams hands it off to Dedrick Parsons. And Parsons finds some running room. Bites his way out to the 39-yard line, and that's a big Howard University first down. That's a good-looking run by Dedrick Parsons, 5'8", 195, the red-shirt sophomore out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That might be the best offensive play of the day for Dedrick. I mean, that was a good run. He's a tough running, bow-legged running back, old-school running back, yeah. tough kid. First down, Howard from their own 39-yard line. Moving left to right now here in the second quarter. 17-0. Fam, you leading. Give is to Parsons. Again, he was hit behind the line of scrimmage trying to get to the outside. But the Rattlers are all over that play. And it was um, Terry Jefferson on the stop for Fam U. Boy, Terry playing his last home game in Bragg Stadium this yeah. afternoon. Yeah. You know, one, one of the things that you have to do as a running back, that east and west ain't going to get you nowhere. You got to go north and south. And uh, the Rattlers are stringing that thing out. Uh, we credit their defensive line and defensive play for that, the scheme yeah. that they have set for the, for the Bisons. Second down and 13 after a three-yard loss on the play. Ramar Williams shoots this pass out. It's caught by Jordan Alley. And Alley moves forward. Elijah Richardson over there on the stop for FAMU. Going to set the Bison up at the 40 three-yard line, just about the 44-yard line of Howard, and make it third down and about five yards to go, maybe six yards to go for a Bison first down. A little three-yard hitch pass, yeah. well executed by the Bison. Six minutes and three seconds remaining in the first half. 17-0, Fam U and Howard. The third down and six. Williams wants to pass, pulls it down. Fires his pass out here. The pass is caught. 
That's a good looking throw and catch. Williams had to buy some time to get his receiver clear. But he can keeps completes the pass that is. To Malik Hyatt, the tight end, 6'2", 230, a junior out of Gastonia, North Carolina. Williams does an excellent job of extending the play uh, and, and giving his guys an opportunity to free themselves up, and that's a perfect example right there. All right, here we go. First and 10, Howard. Lamar Williams hands it off to Josiah Crute. And Crute scoots his way for nearly nine yards on that play. Make it second down and one. Marquise Bell on the stop for the Rattlers. You know, in spite of everything that's going on with Howard University, these guys are still playing with a lot of passion, a lot of pride. Yeah. They've got some athletes on this football team. They've got a good football team, yeah. man. Second down and one for Howard. At the Rattler 36 yard line, eye formation, offset eye this time for Ramar Williams. And Ramar play action. Williams wants to pass, got lots of pressure, and Williams finally just tosses it out there. He, the pass was intended for Michael Cornwell, but it falls incomplete, third down. Hey, he was just trying to get rid of it. But, you know, I don't think the receiver thought he was going to throw right, the football. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. it kind of surprised him yeah. that he gave up. He gave up on the route. Yeah. Third and one for Howard from the FAMU 36. Williams this time. Play action again. Fires over the middle. It's picked off by Cortez Reed. And Cortez Reed's down at the 38-yard line. But another FAMU turnover. Cortez Reed. Cortez did a great job of reading that play. Um, little, little run pass option. And uh, you can see Williams fake the ball and tried to dump it in inside. The safety picked it off. Yeah, that's a good looking pick by Cortez Reed. And Cortez is having an outstanding season, too. 6'1, 175, the freshman out of Vieira, Florida. And gives it back to FAMU with 4.17 to play in the first half. Rattlers leading 17 to nothing. And uh, Ryan Stanley's going to load up the spread offense and swing it the opposite side for the X-Man. And Xavier Smith is going to scoot for it. He may have the first down depending on where they spot the football. I think he got it. There's a little huddle going on back here with the referee. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, 54 offense, 15-yard penalty, first down. Okay, that's going to go against FAMU's Andre Regis. Unnecessary roughness. And it's going to nullify an outstanding play by Xavier Smith and back the Rattlers up to their own 22-yard line and make it first down and a whole bunch. 25 yards to go. <laughs> it's almost to Thomasville. <laughs> <laughs> and that's in Georgia. <laughs> Here we go, Ryan Stanley. Play action, wants to pass. Fires across the middle for Zende Ray, and Zende jumps high to get it. But it was thrown in double coverage, and it falls incomplete. It looked like Zende got his hands on that ball, and the old rule is if you can touch it, you can catch it. Uh, that ball, just a little high, though. Yeah. Second down and 25 for FAMU. Ryan Stanley thread the yeah. needle oh, on yeah. that one. He should have caught that ball. Second and 25, Xavier Smith along with Andre Davis wide to the near boundary. Marcus Williams is isolated to the far side. And Ryan tosses this one to the X-Man underneath in a screen pass. He picks up a couple of blocks and stumbles on his own footing. But he takes it up to the 31-yard line and gets some of that 15 yards back and it's going to make it third down 
16. And 16 now. The screen, wide receiver screen back yeah. inside, and X-Man, I tell you, was a step away from probably breaking it. It's just something about it. When he touched that ball, man, it's like lightning. He got nine of those 15 back. Third down, and Ryan tosses this one out here for the X-Man, and that's incomplete. Xavier's looking for a flag, but none thrown, and it's going to bring up fourth down for FAMU. Hey, credit credit the Bison's defense for that, uh, that, that rush on that throw. I think Ryan wanted to hold that ball a little bit longer and let that wheel route develop a little bit, uh, but he had to throw it a little early because of the pressure. Mm -hmm. Chris Fadul on the punt. This is only his second punt, I think, on the afternoon. And, uh, let's see if he can flip the field with this. Fadul, high kick, end over end. Fair catch called for and made by Diedrich Parsons at the 33-yard line of Howard. And the Bison will take over first and 10 from there. Two minutes and 56 seconds remaining in the first half of play here in Tallahassee. A chilly afternoon in Florida's capital city. Well, you know, Keith, uh, headline news and CNN were here on campus on Friday and today. I got a chance to see them uh, profile the university, and they did a super job of uh, made me feel very proud to be an alumnus of Florida a &M. All right, here we go. First down and 10. For Howard, Ramar Williams gives to Diedrich Parsons. Diedrich fights his way. Tough yards in there, but he picks up. Looks, looks like about three. Second down and seven yards to go for the Bison. 238 to play. First half, 17-0. Fam U leading Howard. Ramar Williams. Gives it to Parsons once again. And Parsons, boy, turns and then cuts upfield. The Rattlers are all over that play. And it's a Marquise Bell there for the Rattlers. Got a little help that time from Khalil Lines, 5'11", 230, a redshirt sophomore out of Hialeah, Florida. You can find some Florida boys on everybody's Rasta. Yeah. Bisons have some Florida guys. Of course, the Rattlers have a boatload. But everywhere we go, you can find one or two sprinkled. Third down, Howard. About three yards to go. Lamar Williams under center. Gives it to Parsons, and Parsons is trapped behind the line. And it's Derek Money Mayweather on the stop for the Rattlers. <laughs> Money Mayweather. Timeout. You know, the, these guys the play off each other. Out of the half. 30 second timeout. Please put 134 on the play clock. Man, he, and Money Mayweather gets, a, gets the, the, the big in the air bump from his defensive coach there, yeah. Ralph Street. Defensive coordinator. Oh, defensive coordinator Street got these guys playing lights out defense. But Howard has a, a very talented team, man. They, they've got some great players. They just got to piece this thing together. Get the right leadership, right coach, right mentor. Amazon, Google Play, Tidal, and more. Get it today. Visit ZigorySpates.com for more information. New day. All right, here we go. Howard University. In punt formation, Zazende Ray is deep to receive for Florida a and A minute 34 to play in the first half. 17-0, FAMU leading. Howard. And uh, Gillespie's kick is going to be fielded by Azende Ray. Azende trying to get to the outside. And, boy, we got penalty markers all over the field. I mean, that's a full load of laundry right there. <laughs> that's a double load. A double load of laundry. Yeah, look at here. Flag everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Heard one of the fans in the stands say, 27 flags on the field. <laughs> oh, 
my goodness. Illegal block, Jordan to return, number 12, receiving team. 10 yard penalty, first down. You mean just one? <laughs> <laughs> all those <laughs> all those flags for that one call? <laughs> Boy, a lot of people saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Which tells me that it's something they didn't see. Oh, my goodness. Illegal. I see. The, oh, there it was. I saw it. <laughs> well, if I had a flag, I would have thrown it too. <laughs> There's a lot of flags. A lot of people saw that block at the back. So, <laughs> legal block. Oh, first down at 10 for FAMU now. Way back at the Rattlers 12-yard line, Ryan Stanley sends Zende Ray in motion. And they give it to the Bishop. Bishop Bonnet trying to turn up field. He's going to go down at about the 15-yard line. Gain of two. Second area. down and eight yards to go. For FAMU with a minute nine to play in the first half. And credit the, the Howard defensive line for making a great play, great stop on Bishop Barnett. Rattlers are trying to employ the quick offense, see if they can come up with something. Give it to the Bishop once again. And the Bishop fights his way past the 15 near the 20-yard line. It's going to bring up third down, about four to go. Going to mark it at the 19-yard line. And Howard takes a 30-second timeout. So while we've got a moment there, Albert, let's tell you about staying social with your favorite conference. Search MEAC Sports on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for day-to-day -day updates on everything MEAC. Also use the hashtags I back the MEAC and hashtag MEAC Nation to see your post reposted. Now, we had a lot of fun before today's game on our Rattler Prime Time on Facebook Live, Bragg Stadium. You can go out and check out the show, but uh, a lot of fun getting ready for this FAMU Howard game. There we go. Ryan Stanley. And the Rattlers with a third down and four with 48 seconds remaining in the first half and FAMU leading 17-0. Stanley fires this pass out there. It's caught by Xavier Smith, and Xavier stays inbounds, goes down at about the 33-yard line. The ball popped out, but he was already down. And that's a first down for FAMU, and the Rattlers going tempo. Howard trying to get it in position. And Ryan Stanley once again looking to pass. Fires across the middle. That pass is caught by Marcus Williams in Howard territory at the 49-yard line. That's a Rattler first down, and they'll move the chains. Marcus is down, slow to get up. Probably came down on that football, Albert, and probably took the breath out of him. Yeah, he, he, he made a good two-hand grab. Thumbs into the body, fingers away, and uh, I think he fell on that ball and yeah. knocked the wind out of himself. Well, coming up at halftime on uh, our ESPN3 broadcast, we've got a segment on Ken Riley, who should be in the NFL Hall of Fame, and we'll tell you more after this play. This pass is tossed out here to Bishop Bonnet, and Bishop steps out of bounds at about the 46-yard line. But coming up at halftime on uh, ESPN3, an interview with Ken Riley, who is certainly deserving of being in the NFL Hall of Fame. Fifth all-time on the interceptions list. And then also on Howard's Kyle Anthony. That pass is caught by Bishop Bonnet inside the 45-yard line of Howard at about the 43-yard line. And the Rattlers will have 12 seconds remaining. And they'll take timeout, a 30-second timeout. So while we have a moment, Ken Riley coming up at halftime. He's fifth all-time on the NFL interceptions list, but yet to be inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame. And he did that, Albert, back in the day when they weren't slinging the ball all over the place. I concur, man. Kenny was overdue. He, uh, he earned and deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. And I hope that uh, this, this selection turn 
will give him that opportunity. I mean, it, they're doing something special this time around. They're actually getting some of the older guys, and the, the number of guys who are being inducted has increased, and he should be in that number. He should be in that, that, that old group. I shouldn't say it. I'm not talking about him, but the older group of guys. But he has more interceptions than, than all of the guys who've gone in the last 10 years. Yeah. And then Kyle Anthony, the great receiver from Howard University, will talk about his career. He's the all-time leading receiver at Howard University. Coming up at halftime. All right, here we go. Ryan Stanley sets up, rolls, looking to pass, fires downfield. That pass intended for Marcus Williams, who's right back in the ball game, Albert, but it's incomplete. Hey, he's a senior, man. He, he's not going to let anything keep him out of this yeah. game. It's the last one in Bray. Yeah, third down. And five to go with seven seconds remaining in the first half. Fam, you leading 17. Now, Howard has dropped everybody back. They're going to make sure whatever pass is coming, it's coming ahead of. They, they're keeping the, everything in front of them. In front of them. Exactly. exactly. They're getting right. it all yeah. in front of them. They ain't giving up nothing. All right, here we go. Ryan Stanley. Triplets to the near boundary. He has the X-Man isolated to the far side, and Stanley's going to fire for the X-Man and in and out of the hands of Xavier Smith. Boy, that's a rare one. You rarely see Xavier Smith drop a pass, but he did there. X-Man was trying to run before he caught that one. And two seconds remaining on the clock just before halftime now. Bison's had three deep, a three deep in the end zone, keeping everything <laughs> in front of him. You're not going to beat us deep. Well, speaking of um, it being senior day here in Tallahassee and 14 FAMU football players just playing their last game in Bragg Stadium, there are going to be some seniors in that marching 100 group, too. Yeah, this will be their last halftime show at Bragg right. Stadium. Right. The four or five years will get by quick on you. Yeah. All right, the Bison take a knee. That's going to do it. It's halftime in Tallahassee with our score. Florida a and 17, Howard University nothing. And it's been all fam you so far in the first half. It's timeout in Tallahassee, 17 nothing on senior day. And we'll be back with a whole lot more after these words on the MEAC Digital Network and ESPN3 and after our network sponsor. From Bragg Stadium. When we come back, we'll talk to coaches and players from both teams. The new 911 Timeless Machine. Bison have had their share of adversity this season, but one thing is for sure, the goal of college is not lost for the coaches or players. We sat down with coach Aaron Kelton about staying focused amid an unfavorable season. When I first stepped on the campus, uh, actually when my flight landed, it was just feeling that I got, you know, that I needed to be here. I was here for a reason. Um, that's pretty much it. I didn't meet any coaches yet. Um, I talked to Coach Sherm, who came to my high school, but um, when I, when I when the plane landed, it was snowing, um, and when I just got down, I, I felt like I needed to be here. He's a special guy um, who who cares a lot, not only about uh, the team in, in Howard University and, and football in general, uh, but it, just about people. Uh, that, that's what this is about for him. Uh, he cares about people. He wants to be the best. He's driven uh, on and off the field. Uh, like you said, three and a half years, going to graduate. Uh, it's going to do some great things out in the real world and, and uh, hopefully gets an opportunity to, to continue to play. Our university has helped me grow into the man that I am today. Um, off the field, uh, academically, you know, being a MEAC all academic um, team three times that I was here, uh, probably going on, on the fourth time. I think that's a great success of uh, being able to graduate in three and a half years this December coming up. Um, I think that's a, another testament to my success off the field. For Howard, certainly uh, they should feel honored that, that he's able to do that, number one. Um, and then number two, um, for him to, to, 
put himself in that position at such a demanding, you know, academic, rigorous program. Uh, it just tells the kind of person he is um, and, and what his true drive is. He's doing that while being a, a, a full-time student, full-time football player, a uh, great young man on campus, an example to his teammates, uh, being a captain. Uh, the, the, you know, that says a lot about who he is. Um, and certainly Howard feels honored uh, to, to, to have him be a part of it. Uh, and he's setting records at the other part. That's the part that we, we, we kind of downplay, you know, because he, he, he would trade every record in the world to be able to have a championship, you know. Uh, but, but that just tells you how good he is and, and what he means, uh, not only to our football program, but to Howard University. The new 9-11, Timeless Machine. Ken Riley had what many consider an NFL Hall of Fame career, but he just hasn't gotten that call from Canton. We talked with Riley and a famous admirer about what it takes to get that gold jacket and be enshrined in history. Well, first of all, I, I never thought I dreamed in the back of my mind. My thing to go into college was to get an education first. And when that opportunity arise, uh, arose, then I uh, took advantage of it. The year before, it was two guys up on my high school team that had already gone and, and, and made the football team. Major Hazen was the third round draft choice of the Chicago Bears, and Nathaniel James, the sixth round draft choice of Thank the you Cleveland Browns. Small town in uh, Florida, uh, Bartow. Um, and so I know him from Bartow because my aunt and uncle lived there, and I just remember when I went to visit them, hearing his name. Um, and then, of course, my dad and mom and sister graduated from uh, Florida a &M, And we used to go and watch the games when he was the coach. But all those things go unnoticed. And I was, until people say, who is this guy, Ken Ryder? Why has nobody, you know, said, uh, why is he in the Hall of Fame? And, and, and I get more of that from other people after they see my stats because they just didn't know because I was, and in Cincinnati, we were not publicized. I mean, we, we were not glorified, so to speak. Paul Brown's philosophy is you go out and you, that's what I'm paying you to do. And uh, there are a lot of guys that uh, had great careers there, but went unnoticed, and I was one of those guys. All right, let's take it back out to Brad with Keith, Albert, and Calvin for another exciting half of MEAC football. never gotten enough of it so we proudly bring you more of it the new 911 timeless machine and welcome back to as the Rattlers of Florida and them lead the bison of Howard University a chilly night in Tallahassee of jackets and few gloves in the stadium and lots of caps and hoods and skull caps. <laughs> uh, the Rattlers won the toss at the beginning of the game and elected to defer. So they will receive the second half kickoff and will be moving left to right. Howard will kick it off and it will be Jordan Alley who is kicking off for the Howard Bison. But they've they've had some turmoil in the program and none of their first team specialists are here and so they squib kick this and kick it to end up kicking it to Azende Ray and Azende is going to go down at about the 43 yard line where the Rattlers will begin their first possession of the second half from there uh, but uh, as Albert said uh, you know Howard although they've had some turmoil in the program they still got some really good athletes over there and uh, they're they're battling they're gritty. They're playing with a bunch of grit and determination and passion. And you can see it. I mean, uh, they just need some leadership and uh, a mentor to corral all this talent and make it a, a fine two machine. It will be interesting to watch the Howard program as the season winds down and some decisions are made about the direction it goes. Yeah, and I think that will have an impact on, on some of these kids who decided to redshirt and want to transfer to uh, just where they're going to be uh, in 2020. 
All right, Ryan Stanley sends Kamara Young, the tight end, in motion. And on first down, he gives to Devon Kendrick. And Bo Kendrick spins and turns and picks up about three, maybe four yards on that first down carry. And will make it second down. We'll call it six to go for a FAMU first down. The ball is resting at the Rattler 48-yard line. Ken Riley featured at halftime along with uh, Howard's Kyle Anthony, their all-time leading receiver. Ken Riley, overdue for going into the NFL Hall of Fame. That's uh, Devon Kendrick with an outstanding run. He scoots for another Rattler first down in well, Howard territory here. now at the first Howard 41-yard line. Albert, without question, Ken Riley, outstanding pro for the Cincinnati Bengals, outstanding head coach here at FAMU, and an outstanding athletic director here at FAMU. And he is, without question, and we keep saying it, we've said it all season long, deserving of that gold jacket no in question. the NFL Hall of Fame. No question. He played all his, all his NFL time with one team. And he's able to accomplish that when they weren't even throwing the football around like they are now. All right, here's Xavier Smith. And Xavier goes uh, east and west this time, turns up field at the last minute to pick up maybe a couple of yards on this play. And it's going to make it second down and eight yards to go for FAMU. Well, Calvin Sykes, who's uh, usually our man on the sideline, has joined us in the booth here this afternoon. All right, here we go. Right, let's give it to Devon Kendrick once again. And Bo Kendrick fights his way down inside the 25-yard line. He's still running. And, and still running. Finally, the whistle blows. Kendrick was never tackled. He bust out of the pack as if he was going for a touchdown. But the play is going to be blown dead at about the 25 yard line. It's a first down for the Rattlers at the Howard 25. Kendrick is one of those uh, backs that's a part of the running back by committee. And uh, they can tote that peel, man. Fresh legs. First and 10, Fam U from the Howard 25. And Ryan Stanley this time gives to Bishop Bonnet. And there goes the Bishop. He's at the five. Touchdown, Fam U. As the AMEs will say, <laughs> thank you, Bishop. <laughs> you see, Bishop is picking and choosing his holes, and he pops in there. And once he gets to that second line, it's all over. Speed and quickness. 25-yard touchdown run by Bishop Bonnet. Yahia Ali on to attempt the point after. Chris Fadul will hold. There's a snap placement. Oh, fake. Chris Fadul picks it up. He's going for the end zone. He's got it. Two-point conversion by Chris Fadul. Flags on the play. There is no foul for an ineligible player downfield. There was no pass thrown. Score is good. Actually, it was a bad snap, I was, Albert. Yeah, yeah. I was, and Chris Fadul had no choice. But, well, he could have missed the extra point, or he can pick it up and go. And he picked it up and went. Yeah, it, he showed some speed running into the corner. And so the Rattlers with a 25 to nothing lead now here in Tallahassee on Senior Day, and there's a break in the action. And we'll be back after these words on the MIAC Digital Network and the ESPN3. And so, we proudly bring you more of it. The new 911, Timeless Machine. Bishop Bonnet scores on a 25-yard touchdown run, and Yahia Ali adds the extra point. It's 25 to nothing as Chris Fadul scores on a two-point conversion, and the Rattlers continue the shutout against Howard. 
here on Senior Day in Bragg Memorial Stadium. Howard will start first down and 10 from their own 25 yard line. Lamar Williams is going all the way at quarterback for the Bison. They bunch three to the boundary over here and they hand it off to Diedrich Parsons. Parsons finds a little running room and it closes quickly. Eric Smith steps up in there on the tackle. And he got a little help from Demontre Moore. Well, Howard's doing a good job getting a good push right there at the point of attack and and uh, a tough little running back, man. I tell you what, Diedrich is a tough guy to run and pull down. Yeah, second down and five. And, boy, another outstanding run. That's going to be a first down for Howard as they umpire Diedrich Parsons once again, the ball carrier for HU. Wow. Okay. Uh, Kyle Anthony, he just told, has scored a touchdown in every game for Howard, but so far, nothing tonight. And the Rattler defense uh, on the verge of ending that streak. Well, yeah, unless I'm missing something, I don't think he's caught a pass tonight. Not much there on that run. It makes it second down and 10 to go. Bison this time again, bunch three to the far boundary and give it to Parsons again. And Parsons fights his way close to the 40 yard line. It's gonna bring up third down and about seven. So a gain of three, third and seven. You know, Dietrich has been the, the workhorse all day and uh, the top receiver, I'm not even sure he's been much of a target. I think, uh, see, one, maybe once, once or twice they they tried to throw the ball to him, but we credit the Rattler secondary for good Never coverage on it. We're down in seven to go for Howard. 10.33 to play, third quarter. 25 nothing. the Rattlers lead. Lamar Williams wants to pass, flushed out of the pocket, looks downfield, unloads, and boy, this looks like maybe a catch. The tie goes to the receiver. Marquise Bell was also there, and they're going to say he was out of bounds. That's great defense. That's, that's great defense, but a great effort as well. Yeah. You look at it on the replay. Yeah. The tie goes to the receiver. Oh, man, that was close. Ah, that's really close. That might be good enough for a review. It all starts with Raymond, though. He, makes the, he extends the play with his wheels and uh, throws a nice ball that's catchable. I think he had a foot out of bounds, maybe. But you don't need one, 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 one foot in. for college football. You look at it from a different angle here. The Bison trying to hurry up and get folks on the field. It's going to be fourth down. And so that play will not be under review. Delay game, offense. And it's going to go delay of game against Howard. It'll back him up five more. A heck of a defensive effort by Marquise Bell. Great, great effort by Marquise, and a great effort on the receiver's part to catch that football. Yeah. Damian Gillespie on the punt for Howard. And Azende Ray, well, this might be the best punt of the night. And Azende bobbles it, but finally gets a hold of it and goes out. Bunch is forced out of bounds at about the 40-yard line. Well, you know, the, the Howard offense sputs and spurs, you know what I mean? They, they, they show a couple of good signs of moving the football, and then they come up a little short. They, they can't seem to catch a break. Yeah. But uh, they continue to fight. First down. And a penalty against the Rattlers. And a back us up. Ten oh four to play. Third quarter is twenty five nothing. Fam, you and that assessment will move the football 
to the Rattler 20 yard line and that's where FAMU will start their second possession of the second half. You know Keith every HBCU has great alumni from Howard though Sean Puffy Combs is an alumnus Thurgood Marshall Elijah Cummings and Felicia Richard are just to name a few. One thing for sure Diddy got that swag. <laughs> Here we go. They hand it off to looks like Terrell Jennings is the ball carrier here. It is and Terrell is going to kind of get up limping there a little bit. We'll pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Rattler Sports Network. Devon Kendrick goes in motion. Ryan Stanley tries to set up the screen pass, but it's incomplete. Intended for Xavier Smith. Going to make a third down and about 12 yards to go. He tried to receive a screen back to the short side of the field. That ball's still sailing on Ryan a little bit. Credit Howard with uh, good defensive coverage. Stanley. Ryan Stanley looking to pass. Got a man open at Xavier Smith. And Xavier breaks the tackle. Still on his feet at the 40, 45 midfield. And finally, Xavier's momentum takes him down. Penalty markers are thrown on the play. But what an outstanding play by the X-Man. And that's what we were talking about earlier, Albert. You quiet, 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 and boom, there he is. It's something special about that kid, man. He can, he can get it done. And so holding is the call against the Rattlers. That's a 10-yard assessment, but it's still a first down. But what an effort by Xavier Smith on the replay. You can see he was trapped. He breaks this tackle and then breaks another two tackles, cuts back across field, and his momentum takes him down. Xavier, on that pass reception, just went over 1,000 yards for the season. And it's been a long time since we had a receiver go to over 1,000 yards. That's a tremendous effort, man. That's yeah. a salute to him for an awesome job. Penalty mark is thrown on the play. This is gonna go against FAMU. False start. Offense, number 77. Five-yard penalty, first down. False start against the Rattlers. Back them up five. And that'll make it first down now and 15 yards to go. 8.38 to play in the third quarter. The Rattlers leading Howard 25 to nothing. Rattlers 6-0 in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. Well, all this talk about the other teams that are at the top of the conference. Psych. <laughs> the truth of the matter is. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bishop Bonnet on an outstanding run. He's going to pick up about 13 yards on that carry. It's going to make it. Two yards to go for a Rattler first down. You know, at this point in the game, this is where the weight training and muscle milk and all that stuff plays in. You can see the wheels on the, on the Rattlers uh, kicking up. They credit Bishop with 12 yards on the game, third, second and three for FAMU. And they, this time they toss it out here incomplete. Zende Ray may have been the intended receiver, but it looked like Marcus Williams. I tell you what, Howard's cornerback made a great play coming up. Had he thrown that to Marcus, that might have been a pick six. But I'm noticing that that's, that center snap is still high for the Rattlers. I don't know if uh, Howard's defensive lineman is putting something on his head. 
<laughs> oh, he's just snapping that ball high tonight. Yeah, because one of, one of the things, you know, we talk about that muscle milk and weight training. We like to take our hats off to the alumni for supporting uh, family athletics with specifics on uh, weight training and nutrition. Because, I mean, at this, at this point in the season, now you, you, you played nine, ten games. I mean, that's what's up. This is where you win football games now. Time out in Tallahassee. The world's never gotten enough of it. So we proudly bring you more of it. The new 9-11. Timeless machine. Third down, about three yards to go for Florida AM. Ball's resting at the Rattler 46 yard line. Ryan Stanley goes in motion. And the Rattlers snap it to Terrell Jennings, and Jennings has the first down. Run a little Wildcat there. Terrell up. They needed three. The Rattlers get four on the Terrell, Terrell Jennings run. You know, Terrell's a, a true freshman, but he runs hard. And he's a bulldog when he's running. First and 10, fam, you from the Rattler 49 yard line now. Ryan Stanley back at quarterback. Play action. Fires downfield. It's caught by Xavier Smith, the X Man. And that's around the first down. Nice pass and catch on a quick post. Xavier Smith credit the uh, the Bison defensive back for making that tackle because that would have been six. And there's an injured Bison on the field on that play. So there's an official timeout. And uh, it's timeout. We'll be back on the MEAC Digital Network and ESPN3. Ryan Stanley and the Rattlers ready to go. First down and 10 at the 28-yard line of Howard Stanley. Forced out of the pocket, fires downfield, got a man open. It's caught by Ryan, by Xavier Smith, the X-Man, at the three-yard line. That is big time right there. Ryan Stanley extending the play, throws the ball deep, and hit Xavier. All you need is one foot in on a, I don't know, one-and-a-half-yard line. Yeah. And here come the Rattlers. They hand it off to Dak Terrell Jennings. It is. Touchdown. Terrell Jennings with a three-yard run. 6.42 to go in the third quarter. Well, the Rattlers didn't get off to a fast start, but they're on a roll right now. Like Must butter. butter. But Well, you know what the Rattlers are doing? It they're taking advantage of opportunities that Howard has given them, right? And scoring touchdowns. They've had a short field all day for the most part, and have executed. Extra point. It's good. And so, with 6:42 to play in the third quarter, our score from Tallahassee: FAMU 32 and Howard University nothing. The Rattlers continue to pitch a shutout. And uh, that injured Howard defensive back on the big play to Xavier Smith was Kassan Dixon, 6'188 pound freshman out of Portsmouth, Virginia. And he's uh, he made it to the uh, sideline and is uh, being attended to on the bench. So we hope he's going to be okay. I want to say a shout out to 
Cyan and uh, all the good folks at Mahogany Hills down in uh, the beer bar. And uh, to our, our own Robert Seniors, who uh, always looking out. And of course, to Laverne Stryker Washington, another brother from the alley. Rattlers kicking it off with a 32 to nothing lead over Howard. And Jordan Alley calls for the fair catch. So, Bison will start with their own 25 yard line. 6.42 to play in the third quarter. Rattlers pitching a shutout right now. The you sun know, has gone down, and that uh, that chill has gotten a little cooler. The loyal fans are sticking with with the Rattlers here, though. Lamar Williams' pass is tossed out here and caught by Kyle Anthony. That's his first catch of the afternoon. Yeah. The all-time leading receiver at Howard University. Anthony is going to pick up about six yards on that toss and catch. Make it second down and four for Howard. Anthony wide to the near side this time. Jordan Alley to the far side. And the band needs to be careful. They're playing when the, the Bison break the huddle. They hand it off to back out of the backfield. And that is Josiah Krupp. It's going to be a first down for Howard University. Yeah, Howard comes out with a little quick out to Kyle Am Anthony and then get a nice little run and play, pick up the first down. They just need to be more consistent on offense. Yeah. First and 10 for Howard at their own 36-yard line. 5.40 to play now in the third quarter. Bison send twins to the far boundary. Throw the out out here to Kyle Anthony. And boy, Rattlers are all over that play. Troy Hilton is there along with Elijah Richardson and stopped Anthony for a two-yard gain and make it second down and eight yards to go for Howard. You know, if Anthony's one of your playmakers, it, it must have heard us talking because he hadn't caught a ball till, till here recently. Yeah, I caught, mean, I caught hey, two in a, almost two in a row. Yeah, now you got to get the ball in the hands of your playmaker. Let's do something. Second down and eight for Howard from their own 38 yard line. Lamar Williams fires over the middle, intended for Anthony. Nearly picked off. He took a good shot, too. Almost intercepted by number 15, Elijah Richardson. That was Andrew Hines who came up and delivered a blow, but it was Elijah Richardson who nearly had the interception for FAMU. And it makes it third down now and eight yards to go for Howard. Third and eight. Bison send Alley isolated to the far boundary. Twins to the near side over here, including Kyle Anthony. That pass intended for Anthony, incomplete. Troy Hilton was defending on the play for Fam U. And will make it fourth down and eight yards to go. Yeah, you can see Kyle Anthony a little frustrated because. That ball was thrown behind him, and of course, it's been a long season for a guy who's caught 193 passes in his career. A little frustrated. Yeah, Damian Gillespie on the punt. And Azende Ray is deep to receive for the Rattlers. And Azende going to field this at the 27-yard line. Reverses field. Now turns back up field, 30, 35. And finally bumped out of bounds, but penalty markers are on the play. Penalty 
Gordon to return. Illegal block in the back. Receiving team, number 18. 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. So a legal block in the back against the Rattlers, and that will back the Rattlers up. Ball will be spotted at the 15-yard line. The Rattlers will begin first and 10 from there. You know, Coach, Smith, uh, Coach Simmons was talking about his playmakers before the game, and, I mean, that list got longer and longer, man. And he's got some guys who can make some things happen with that ball in their hand. Rashawn McKay checks in now at quarterback for the Rattlers. And Rashawn, 6'2", 195, the redshirt freshman out of Tallahassee Godby High School. And on first down, he hands it off. To Devon Kendrick. Kendrick's going to be stacked up and stopped for no gain. Second down and 10 for the Rattlers. Second and 10. McKay again this time gives to Kendrick, and this time he finds a seam and fights his way out past the 20-yard line to about the 22, and that'll make it third down and about four to go for the Rattlers. Three forty-one to play, third quarter. It's 32 to nothing, fam you. Howard brings the blitz. Rashawn McKay's pass, though, is caught by Marcus Williams, and Marcus picks up a block, turns up field, and goes down at the 35-yard line. That's a Rattler first down, and they'll move the, move the chain. Good shot, good pass and catch, little quick slant. Uh, just enough to pick up the first down, but you got athletes who catch that ball and make things happen with it. He was well covered by Howard's cornerback, too. I mean, that was a good throw, good catch, and run after the catch. All right, here we go. Rashawn McKay at the controls. And McKay going to throw for the first time tonight. And his pass is caught by Azende Ray. On second pass. Mm -hmm. <coughs> second pass of the night. And then another first down for the Rattlers as they'll move the chains. McKay's pass complete to number 80, Marcus Williams. That's good enough for yet another. Yeah, I said Azende Ray, but it was actually Marcus Williams on the receiving end of that catch. First down, Fam U. And again, the Bison bring the blitz. The Rattlers run inside, and it's Devon Kendrick. Bo Kendrick. Bo Kendrick, the ball carrier. And uh, he's going to be stopped at midfield so it makes it second down and eight yards to go for fam you 205 to play now third quarter it's 32 nothing fam you Rashawn mckay this time wants to pass fires across the middle that pass intended for andrew davis but it's incomplete mckay's pass incomplete intended for that's a little high that one sailed on him a little bit Well, Jeff Walker chiming in. <laughs> uh, that run pass option there. <laughs> Minute 50 to go. Third quarter. Rattlers on a third down and eight yards to go for Rashawn McKay. And McKay steps up in the pocket, fires, pass is caught. And uh, penalty marker is thrown. Devon Kendrick was the receiver. He tried to scoot inside the defender, but. Personal foul, roughly the passer. Defense number 92. 15 yards from the end of the run, first down. So the roughing the passer foul will give FAMU a first down. Rashad did a good job. He stepped up in the pocket and threw a nice ball and uh, a little extracurricular activity on the D-line of Howard. Albert, uh, I talked to one of my good friends, Roland Gaines, uh, last night. And Roland told me, he said, Wait, man, when are you going to the Classic? I said, I'm not going until Friday. 
I said, when are you going? I'll tell you more after this play. That's Marcus Williams on the receiving end of that catch, and that's another round of first down. So Roland said he's leaving Sunday morning, going to the Classic. You know, he has that big RV, and they got a whole group of them that are going down Sunday, and they're going to spend the whole week. You mean like Sunday, like tomorrow? Tomorrow morning. Okay. They're going to spend the whole week in Orlando. It's Classic time. Hey, they just warming things up for the rest of the Rattler fans and the Thune Cookman fans who will be. McKay's pass. That's Boy, a good shot. Thread the needle oh, yeah. to a Zende Ray. He threw a bullet. And Zende ran a, a deep post. And he threw it right behind the safety. McKay threw a nice ball. Yeah, beautiful pass from Rashawn McKay. 22-yard touchdown pass to Azende Ray. And Yahia Ali on to attempt a point after. It'll be Chris Fadul who will hold. Snap placement kick is on the way. And it's good. Ali's kick makes it 39 to nothing, fam you. The Rattlers continue to pitch a shutout here against Howard. And 40 seconds left in the third quarter all across the country. The buildup begins for the Florida Classic. No question. This uh, the hype is there. I mean, you got two two great teams, and no matter what the records are, yeah, it's always uh, fisticuff. It's a dog fight. Yeah. And uh, again, this 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 rivalry dates back 40 years, and uh, in terms of a classic, yeah, and uh, there been some great ones. I'll tell you what, I I was fortunate enough to be a part of. Probably the first one, it was in Tampa. And we got behind 17-0 at halftime. And uh, we were able to come back and win that game 27-17. Jordan Alley makes the fair catch. Spot the football at the 25-yard line for Howard. Yep, the Florida Classic. Florida A&M and Bethune-Cookman University. Next week, a whole week of activities going on in Orlando. Big kickoff reception on Thursday night. The coaches and players luncheon on Friday. It's a great atmosphere. And here we go. Howard hands it off. See if it's Crute or Diedrich Parsons who gets the call here. Looks like it was Parsons, the ball carrier. Gain of one second and about nine yards to go for Howard. Yeah, Keith, I think uh, next, next week is uh, everything that you want in a classic. I mean, you look up classic. You may see Bethune fam you right, right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the end of the third quarter here in Tallahassee with our score. Florida A&M 39, Howard University nothing. We'll be back after these words on the MEAC Digital Network and ESPN3. And also on the... We proudly bring you more of it. The new 911 Timeless Machine. First and 10 for Howard University. Um, sec actually, second and nine. Ramar Williams throws the out. And it's caught by Kyle Anthony for a short game at about the 29-yard line. Let's see where they spotted. They spotted at the 30. And that'll make it third down and five for Howard. 
Well, the last couple of series, the Bisons have thrown the ball to Kyle Anthony a lot more this, this second half than they did the first half. So they need to throw the football as much as they can at this point. Raymar Williams fires. That pass is caught by Anthony, and that's the first down for Howard at the Howard 40-yard line. Howard bunches three to the boundary this time and hand it off to looks like Josiah Crute is the ball carrier. And he is stopped on the play by Nadarius Fagan, who started off playing extremely well early part of the season before suffering an injury. Mm -hmm. Now back in the lineup. Gain of two. Second down and eight yards to go for the Bison. Ramar Williams wants to pass. Sets up now flushed out of the pocket. Fires his pass underneath. And it's going to be caught by Damian Gillespie. And that pass is going to mark the football at the 46-yard line. 13.03 to play. Big Ramar Williams some credit. But he is trying to make things happen. Hey, man, he's the controls of that Howard offense. Throws the screen pass out here for Anthony. Anthony breaks a couple of tackles and fights his way to a very close to a first down if he didn't get it. That's a good looking run after catch by Kyle Anthony. And there you see why he is the all time leading receiver at Howard University as they move the chains. He's a tremendous athlete. They waited a little late to get to him, but uh, they're going to load him up, I believe, this fourth quarter. Lamar Williams trying to set up a screen pass, tosses it out here to Anthony, but. The Rattlers are all over this play. They're going to lose five yards. Terry Jefferson, Nadarius Fagan, Eric Smith, all there for that FAMU defense. He wanted to fake it. He faked deep and then came back to Anthony trying to get an, you know, an advantage, any advantage they can to help him do what he can do. Actually, a loss of four, second and 14 for Howard. Williams wants to pass, tries to set up the screen, but incomplete. Pass was intended for Josiah Crute, but Derek Mayweather got in the middle of that and oh, yeah. he broke that play up. That, that pressure on, uh, on Williams forced him to throw that ball a little wide. I believe the Rattler defense is, because uh, I don't think they've done it this year, trying to get that shutout, man. They're trying to pitch that shutout going into the Classic. Want to send a message. Anthony is wide to the left for Howard. And Lamar Williams steps up, fires downfield. That pass is caught. That's a... Good catch by Damian Gillespie, 5'11", mm -hmm. 185-pound senior out of Singapore. And that'll move the chains for the yeah. Bison. Well, actually, it won't. It, it's actually a yard short of the first down. But they got to go for it. Yeah, they got to go for it. Fourth down and one. They're on the plus side of the 50, so I'm sure they will go for it here. Fourth down and one for Howard. And we've got whistles. Rolling on the field of a completed catch, short of the line of game, is under further review. And so they're going to review the previous play. Ajax Construction. ran an out route. We have a completed catch. He did a good job looking off, and he comes back to the out route. Just a spot of the ball. Yeah. Eric Smith was defending on the play for FAMU. Did a good job 
the Raptor fans just a quick fact about so, this season. So real. If the Raptors should hold on to the 39 to nothing lead with 52 remaining in the game, this will be the See how this is since 2009 that the Raptors have been undefeated at home. Come on, Brad Stadium, you can do better than that. Make some noise, we four. Play is under review. It's going to be close. Looks like he stepped out at the 49. If he, if the spot goes to the 40, it will be a first down for Howard. Right. Ball is spotted at the 41 yard line. The receiver, the receiver caught the ball, ball advanced, advanced to the 40-yard line, line, went out of bounds. Out of bounds. It will, will be a first down, down for Howard. Howard. There it is. It will be a first down for Howard. It's a good look. Yeah, that's a good look. Yeah. And what it represents is the officials just trying to get it right. I mean, that's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, hats off and give a little round of applause to the MIAC officials here this afternoon. That's, that's a great job. First down, Howard. Ball's resting at the Rantler 40-yard line. They give it to Josiah Crude again. And Crude with a six-yard gain goes all the way down to the FAMU 34-yard line. That's a good run by Josiah Crude. Yeah, Howard's got a nice little running game uh, with the Parsons and Crude. Crew 5'10, 196, a sophomore out of DC, Washington, DC. Second down. And four, but boy, there's no place to run that time. Rattlers all over that play. Whole bunch of green jerseys. Hey, Keenan Anderson makes the stop in the backfield. Keenan Anderson on the stop for the Rattlers. Keenan 6'5, 385, the red shirt senior out of Atlanta. Georgia Mays High School. Boy, that loss of two on the play. It's going to make it third down and about seven yards to go for Howard. Kyle Anthony wide to the far boundary. Isolated receiver near side. Wing this way. And a Lamar Williams runs. Well, boy, he's hit by Nadarius Fagan. Boy, when Fagan hit him, boy, there was no more movement after that. Yeah, that tell you what. Uh, good play on Raymond's part to try to improvise. Florida A&M. Fourth down. Fourth down. Raymond makes uh, improvise, trying to make something happen with his legs. Got to be careful. He's get down. Don't take those shots. Fourth down for Howard. Ball's resting at the FAMU 34-yard line. Four, fourth and four for the Bison. On the plus side of the 50. Bison going for it. Ramar Williams. Rolls. Going to pick up the first down and yeah. scoot out of bounds. It's a good-looking play. Yeah. And uh, it's a you know, quarterback making it happen. Receivers covered. He took off and... That's Got a, the first down. That's all quarterback Williams. All of that. I mean, he actually was looking to the right. He had to roll back to the left. And you saw his speed. You saw his athleticism. Yeah. Outstanding play by Ramar Williams. Now, you know, Ramar Williams, six foot 180, a red shirt sophomore out of Bowie, Maryland. Hey, you know, he wears number two, so I know Albert's a little partial to that. <laughs> you know, that was Albert's number back in the day. All right, so Ramar's going to throw the home run ball in the end zone, incomplete. That's his incomplete. It was not only Albert's number, number two, but it was Albert Jr.'s number, number two. I guess Asia you probably wears Asian number two, too. <laughs> you great. Welcome on, man. He's the number two, too. Aiden and Alex both will be wearing number two. <laughs> yeah, 
But don't forget, the big one is next week, Florida Blue Florida Classic. FAMU and Bethune-Cookman. The Wildcats have won eight in a row. Ramar Williams tosses his pass to Kyle Anthony. Anthony loops inside. And that's a good run after catch. Takes it down to about the 19, maybe the 18-yard line. We'll see where they spot the football. Yeah, keep in mind now, Kyle Anthony has caught a touchdown in every game he has played as a bison. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So uh, the streak is on the line. The streak seven, is on it with seven, seven minutes left. Yeah. The streak is on the line. Yeah. Streak is on the line. Remember, fans, do you want to shut out? Then get on your feet for third down. Florida Blue, Florida Classic next week. The Wildcats have won eight in a row. But as they Five say, Howard, first time out of the half. all things must come to an end. There's a timeout here in Tallahassee with the score, FAMU 39 and Howard nothing. We'll be back after these words along the MEAC Digital Network and ESPN3. And after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. Bring you more of it. The new 911. Timeless machine. Howard University on third down. Ramar Williams play action. Fires the pass for Kyle Anthony. He makes the catch inside the 10. Kyle Anthony down to the four-yard line. That's an outstanding run after catch by the all-time leading receiver in Howard University football history. Yeah, I tell you what, he, he made the grab and uh, had to do some stepping, but he faked some folks out, was able to pick up some additional yards. Um, Albert, I'm glad to know my good Wildcat friends are watching the game and listening on TV. And my good friend and brother John Huger just told me, said, all good things must come to an end, but not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, brother. Ramar Williams on the center. And they hand it off to uh, Josiah Crook, who goes in for the score. Touchdown, Howard. That's a pride touchdown right there. That's a pride touchdown. It's all about pride and passion. <laughs> Josiah Crook goes in from four yards out. Four-yard touchdown run. The Bison are on the board with six minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the ball game. <laughs> Josiah Crute with an excellent effort, determination, pride touchdown. Been a rough season for him. Shut out. We don't want to shut out. He steps and breaks tackle and stretches he out. Stretches. To Make put sure that he ball gets in. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a great effort yeah. by Josiah Crew. All right. Uh, Jordan Alley on to attempt a point after. Snap placement. Kick is high enough, long enough, and good. And so with 620. Six minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the ball game. Howard is on the board. And our score is FAMU 39, Howard 7. We'll pause for these words on Long Demiac Digital Network and ESPN 3. And also for the network sponsors from the Rattler Sports Network. We proudly bring you more of it. The new 9-11. Timeless machine. Jordan Alley all set to kick it off for Howard University after Josiah Krupp scores on a four-yard touchdown run and Alley kicks the extra point. It's 39-7 on senior day here in Tallahassee. 
FAMU leading Howard University with 6.20 to play in the ball game. Squib kick picked up and slides down is Marcus Williams. Marcus playing his last uh, game in Bragg Memorial Stadium on senior day. Well, I tell you, when seniors have a whole lot to be proud about. Uh, this has been a great season thus far. And the icing on the cake will be next week when the Rallies take on the Wildcats of Bethune-Cookman University. Yeah, they've, they've won the last eight Florida Classics. You don't have to remind me, Keith. I want to say hi to uh, Curtis Johnson and all the folks down in Fort Pierce. They got a like a listening watch party going on there. Benita Williams is the chapter president down there, and all those Rattlers will be in Orlando next week. Pass was deflected. Rattlers got a new quarterback in. Isaac Sullivan is in at quarterback for the Rattlers now. Rattlers, Willie Simmons getting a chance to play some, some, some young, young some, talent. Yeah, yeah, get some young guys, get some, some game light experience. All right, here we go. Rattlers isolate receiver to the far boundary. Twins near side. Sullivan hands it off to Deshaun. Williams, Smith, Deshaun Smith, yeah. Deshaun Smith the For, former Mr. Football in the state of Florida. There you go. And Deshaun's going to pick up a couple of yards, make it third down and eight yards to go for FAMU with 5.52 to play in the ball game. Marquand Cromarty in the ball game, a senior hometown Tallahassee guy. And he's another one of the Corey Fuller's guys. Corey Fuller's got a lot of guys on this family. Corey's got, Corey's got guys everywhere, man. <laughs> 519 to play, and it'll be Chris Fadul. Now, Chris hadn't punted the football, but maybe was this his fourth, fourth point? Probably? Yeah. Not Third or fourth point? Not many. Yeah. Okay. Jordan Alley is deep to receive for Howard University. And we've got penalty markers on the play. Illegal substitution. Offense. 12 men in the formation. Five-yard penalty. Fourth down. Well, somebody wanted to get on the field and Bragg Stadium before this game was over. <laughs> Legal substitution. Rattlers had 12 men on the field. So, Again, that, that's what you get when you're trying to get guys opportunities to play. And Jordan Alley, this was going to hit and take a Rattler roll, and it rolls dead at the 26 yard line and there's timeout in Tallahassee 439 to play in Florida A&M leading Howard 39 to 7 on senior day in Tallahassee and um, they'll go to break on the MEAC digital network and ESPN 3 and we'll pause for these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network the world's never gotten enough of it so, we proudly bring you more of it. The new 911. Timeless machine. Thirty-nine and seven here on Senior Day. A little Frankie Beverly going on in Bragg Memorial Stadium. And Frankie Beverly in Mays. Before I let you go, Ramar Williams on the sweep. Quarterback keeper. And Ramar. Close to a Bison first down. Let's see where they mark the football. Yeah, Ramar's going all the way for the Bisons tonight yeah. and actually done a, a great job engineering uh, drives, uh, being the field general, making good throws, 
Yeah, gain of nine on that play. Yeah. Second and one for Howard. 407 to go in the ball game. Lamar hands it off to is this Crute or Parsons? Wherever it is, got up a little upset about something there. It's Josiah Crute. Frustration. Yeah, frustration setting in. Yeah. But he got the first down? Yeah. Moves the chains. First down, Howard. Josiah Crute checks out of the ball game, and checking in for Howard is uh, Damian Gillespie. And my good friend Terrence Henson sent a text message in and said that it's like the old TV show. Eight is enough <laughs> for the Florida Classic, that is. And uh, it's Ramar Williams, the ball carrier. And uh, Ramar, again, a nice run from his quarterback position. Special thanks to Dr. Larry Robinson and First Lady Sharon Robinson for your continued support. Of give a family. shout out to old Colonel Bob Porter back in Jacksonville. Yeah. He's keeping prayed up. Hope he can rebound and return to health. All right, here we go. Lamar Williams fires this pass. It's caught by Damian Gillespie. And Gillespie's going to have a Howard first down. Josiah Crew, the running back, checks back into the lineup for Howard. 225 to play. A few more old snakes, Keith, though. Chuck Badger, Curtis Miranda, Bobby Lane, George Godfather Thompson. Give it to Josiah Cruton. Boy, he's just pulled down after about a yard or so, but not much more. Yeah, Khalid, Tim Williams on the stop for the Rattlers. Next week's Florida Classic game is at 3.30, and it'll be televised on ESPN News. But y'all already know what to do. <laughs> of course, we'll have it on the Rattlers Sports Network. Of course. We'll be there. Of course. Second down and nine yards to go. They throw this oh. pass, nearly picked off. Boy, who was that that jumped that route? It was Andrew Hines. He almost what? just put six on the board. Andrew Hines jumped That's the route. And, boy, that was an excellent defensive play. He just read the quarterback's eyes. That pass was intended for Kyle Anthony. But Andrew Hines almost took it to the house. Yeah, Kyle forgot his fundamentals. You got to come back for that ball on those little button hooks. You stand still, somebody going to jump him. The Rattler jumped that ball, should have had pick six. Yes, sir. Third down and nine for Howard. A minute 21 left in this one. The Rattlers will be undefeated at home for the first time since 2009. And uh, Lamar Williams tosses this pass incomplete. Intended for That's Kyle incomplete. Anthony. Anthony wanted a pass interference call, but no flag on the play. Well, the, the, the Bisons were able to score a touchdown, but the streak for Kyle Anthony is on the line now. A minute 14 left. Third down. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting to see if that streak survives Tallahassee. Fourth down and nine for Howard. Lamar Williams sets up. Fires downfield. The pass is caught by Anthony, but he is immediately taken down. Tim Williams on the stop for the Rattlers. Got a little help over there, too, from Matt Green. That's Matt Green, number 36 there. First and 10, though, for the Bison at the 25-yard line of Fam U and Ramar Williams. Still scrambling around. Now takes off and runs and scoots out of bounds at about the 18-yard line. 
but there are penalty markers on the play. Cody, offense number 78, 10 yard first down. First down. Big, the big guy, the big guy held him and then he then he pancaked him. He fell on him. <laughs> <laughs> and was very slow to get up. <laughs> Thirty-one seconds remaining in this one. Bam you leading thirty-nine to seven. First and twenty. The Rattlers are gonna go seven and zero oh in Mid Eastern Athletic Conference play. And nine and one overall, with one game remaining. Only loss of this year went was to the University of Central Florida. Florida. Right. All right, here we go. Ramar Williams tosses this one out here to Josiah Crute. And Crute is going to be stopped for a short gain. Tackle made by number 18, Bobby Clark. Bison trying to hurry up and get this playoff. It's only seven seconds remaining. And they finally snap the football. Ramar Williams going to throw the home run ball, trying to get Anthony to hit his touchdown, but it's going to be incomplete, and the streak is over. Kyle Anthony will not score a touchdown in this ball game. And Florida A&M goes to 7-0 in mid, the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference and to 9-1 overall with one game remaining, the Florida Classic. FAMU and Bethune-Cookman will battle next week in Orlando. We're trying to see if uh, our Calvin Sykes is going to get in position to interview Coach Willie Simmons. Big night for Willie Simmons. Find out he's having a little girl and uh, goes to 7-0 and and 9-1 and overall. Can't ask for it any better than that, I tell you what. He's done a tremendous job here. He's turned these kids around. They believe, and it showed here tonight. It showed all season. Yeah. All right, uh, our Calvin Sykes has head coach Willie Simmons. And if we're ready, let's head on down to Calvin. So, Coach, tell me, what does this, what does this work do for all of this year, seeing that they went through this long history with this program? Well, we want to send those guys out the right way. And uh, for them to come back this last year and to go undefeated at home, um, be nationally ranked, this this program to be the, the, the number one team in black college football again just shows how much that means to this program and they'll be truly missed when that time is over of course for us to give them one more game so we're going to celebrate this one tonight talking with, uh, talk with you know, coach got simmons on the espn three broadcast we, 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 we can't hear it i thought we were going to be able to finish off the floor practice for the win next week the defense managed to put up only seven points and break kyle anthony's touchdown record so just talk about the overall performance of the defense. They played lights out. You know, gave up a touchdown there late, but I thought the entire game they did a really great job of stopping the run, making those guys one-dimensional. And uh, when they play like that, they're, they're one of the best defenses in the country. Fight to finish is the motto you, you created after last year's three-game skid. So was there any pressure coming into this game? Only the pressure we put on ourselves to be our very best. And so you know, fight to finish is our motto. And for us now, it's about finishing this last game against Bethune Cookman. And uh, we'll, like I said, we'll celebrate tonight, but we'll come back tomorrow because we understand that we'll have a hungry football team next week. And um, all, all, but in our minds, uh, everything's on the table that next week in, in the Florida Blue Florida Classic. All right, thank you, Coach. Best of luck on the win. All right, Calvin Sykes uh, just finished the interview with Coach Willie Simmons. We couldn't hear it, but uh, we were trying to get it to our listeners across the radio network as well. But anyway, the Rattlers uh, defeat the Howard University Bison 39-7. Albert, uh, some final thoughts on this one. Well, I tell you what, I, I thought we saw a complete game. You know, the guys came out initially rusty, uh, but uh, they had a bye week last week. And so it took, took a minute for them to warm up and get it going. But felt real good about what we saw. I think we're going to have an exciting football game down in, in Orlando like we always do. Hats off to Coach Simmons and his staff for a great year. I want to say to you guys, I've really enjoyed doing this ESPN thing, man. We've had fun, 
And uh, I tell you what, thanks to Vaughn Wilson and the staff and all the guys who helped put this thing together. Well, Albert, uh, let's, let's thank you too because uh, some of us would not probably have been here this year, but uh, <laughs> that's a whole nother story. Rattlers go to 7-0 and in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference with one game remaining. They have beaten everybody in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference this season except Bethune-Cookman. Well, I tell you what, uh, it, the game between FAMU and Bethune is overdue. And uh, the, the Wildcats have won eight in a row. It's now time to see what we, uh, what this, this team can really do and how we finish up the season. It's been a great year. Uh, it'll be a better year after next weekend. The Rattlers are 9-1. They'll be 9-1 when we wake up in the morning. It'll be a great week of festivities, and we look forward to broadcasting the game next week against the Wildcats and the, and the Rattlers of Florida a and And remember, some, some of the Rattler fans are heading down there tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to do it for us in Tallahassee, Florida. FAMU 39 and Howard University 7. For our team, the Rantler Sports Network, thanks all of our affiliate stations, our board operators. TJ did another great job for us over there at 96.1. Our presenting sponsor, the FAMU Rantler Boosters, been with us all season long, been tremendously supportive of what we tried to do. Producer Sean D., who's uh, made the move to the A. Now, no, no longer in Tampa. He's in Atlanta now. Okay. The engineer Jerome Swain. ATL. Our sideline reporter Calvin Sykes. Our technical director Robert the Brewmaster Sr.